Hi everyone, my name is Melody Myers. I was one of Eric Whitaker's scholarship winners and I was also his virtual choir soloist in Luke Um I would like to thank Mr. Eric Whitaker and his wife, Miss Plitman, for choosing me because if it wasn't for them and if it wasn't for DCINY giving me the scholarship, I would have never been able to do this. The experience was something that I will never forget and I will cherish for the rest of my life. I must admit, when I first received word that I won the scholarship, I really didn't know what Paradise Lost was. <laughs> I've always been a big fan of Eric Whitaker ever since I, I started, you know, singing in choirs and everything, but I, for some reason, didn't hear of Paradise Lost, and I had to look it up. Well, I looked it up on YouTube, and I found the trailer for it, and my jaw was just on the floor the whole time. Um, I was amazed. I I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be in this singing at Carnegie Hall. And then I found out, oh, I'm going to sing with 425 people. This is just incredible. I mean, at the same time, a bit ridiculous because 425 people, I didn't know that many people could fit on the stage. But... It, it it worked, and the seven soloists, or I think I think it was seven, seven soloists fit on stage, and we were all just having a blast. <laughs> um, one of the things that I will never forget was just the little memories that happened, like when we would do something good, and it would make Eric Whitaker laugh or something. It was just those little things that would just make the rehearsals just amazing. You know, how he would, you know, say, okay do this or you know we would change up a chord or something because I know one of the songs that he had to redirect it because you know I mean things don't always turn out and it was just amazing I mean he could just fix things right off the bat it was you know and at first when I got there and we were all rehearsing like the first day I thought I'm kind of scared and nervous because I've never been to something like this and I didn't know how well everyone else learned the music because I honestly was struggling a little bit because I've never done something like this before and I had to learn the music all by myself but it was well worth it. Uh, I was around people that knew what they were doing and I, I caught on quickly and um, like I said the little things like him laughing, he's doing his little giggle like <laughs> or whatever that was, I don't even know. I mean it was just when we when we we saw the soloist then and there i thought i would like to be one of them when i grow up you know become one of those amazing musicians and singers you know that sing broadway and stuff um and to see people that i've met through youtube and everything like courtney and britlin and demal and robbie and you know people from the virtual choir i 185 voices and 243 tracks is just phenomenal and I, I had I, I had the pleasure in meeting those people and it just I was ecstatic it was amazing to be around people from around the world like Ireland there was a person from Ireland I was like oh my gosh and it was the experience was just amazing and I'm very grateful that I was chosen because I mean, and you know, there's always going to be people that think, oh, I'm not good enough, or doubt yourself, and you know, thinking, oh, this person's better than I am, or I was sharp or flat on this pitch, and I just don't think I have a chance now. Don't think like that, because it all depends on what kind of talent you have and what kind of people are looking for that kind of talent. Just make sure you express yourself and sing with your heart. And another thing uh, that I got to experience, I don't know, this is one of the things that I got to cherish. You received a poster that was amazing, and I framed it, and I also got all the autographs on it. I have it right now in my hands, and here, I don't know if you can see it. That was one of the best, you know, cherishable things I could ever get, because I will never forget it. I really have nothing else to say. I wish I did. It feels like I could go on and on about this forever and talk about it forever and really there's no words to describe it. And I encourage everyone out there to audition and be in the next virtual choir and 
hopefully be able to, I don't know if he's going to do another scholarship winners. He probably, he probably will. I, I don't know, but if he does, that'd be a really good thing. And DCI and Y can, you know, help out with that again. I'm so grateful to them for them doing that. I, right in love of my heart. Woo. Um, I encourage everyone to do that and hopefully make it to Los Angeles, I think it is. I'm not really sure. I think it's Los Angeles that's uh, coming up next. And I hope I'll see you there. I, I hope I'll make it. I don't, I'm, I'm not made of money, but you know, I, I would love to relive the experience again. It was amazing. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had. Until then, I will see you guys later. Oh, you can also catch my channel on YouTube. Uh, my name is Sugar Baby LA, and I'll I'll post the link somewhere around here. So, I'll see you later. 